Okay, I was so impressed with the uh, this mini HDMI to AV converter. What I've done, I've taken it one step further, um, and I've mounted a three and a half mil stereo socket on the side, opposite the uh, the switch. For obvious reasons, it's uh, about the only place you can fit it. So this three and a half mil stereo uh, socket, I've uh, essentially wired in parallel to the uh, the RCA uh, video socket. So that then allows me to use uh, standard Nikon leads, like this one here. This is actually the D7000 lead. It's the 3.5mm stereo plug at one end, uh, video on the yellow RCA and audio on the white RCA. But not only that, I can get to use my GigTube wireless on the D7100. So, I'll have to excuse this real cheap shitty little tripod here. So what I will do, I can, let me fold that over, I'm going to plug the GigTube transmitter into that, just as you would with a, a D7000. Put the camera into uh, live view mode. There we go. Um, turn that on. I've got the GigTube receiver, turn that on, like so. And as you can see, we're seeing the live view picture. Uh, let's put my fingers in front of that. Now, the, the one thing I have noticed, it, it does actually squash up the aspect ratio, so it's more like 4 by 3 picture, even though we can see it's uh, widescreen. But if you can live with that limitation, um, I mean, you know, who cares? At least you can see what's... Uh, What's uh, what you're actually seeing through the camera? So I can. There you go. Bit of a lag before the picture comes up, a couple of seconds, but it does come up with all the information. So this way, using this little uh, mini uh, HDMI to AV converter, um, I can use my old GigTube wireless with the new uh, D7100. So very pleased about that. Now, if you. I'm not confident in uh, cracking over open and working with electronics and doing that sort of thing. You could always make uh, an external adapter just with an RCA plug and a 3.5mm stereo socket and wire those up. But I figured it'd be a lot more elegant just by uh, fitting that inside the box like so. I've just disconnected the gig tube wireless and uh, just plugged the uh, straight AV lead from the um, converter to the television. Now if we look at the menu on the D7100, up on the TV, like so. We go into the HDMI menu, output resolution, currently set to 1080p, um, change that to 1080i, it still works. Let's go to 720p, it tends to, uh, oh there we go, 576 progressive, There we go. So once it once it actually changes, it uh, and 480 just takes a few seconds for it to kick in. But as you can see, it supports all the output resolutions. We'll just put that back to uh, 1080p progressive. So pretty good, huh, Mr. May? There's no reason not to upgrade to a D7100 now.